This is my ordinary Android phone, but it holds the full power of Kali Linux. With just a few taps, I can perform Wi-Fi penetration testing, execute social engineering operations, spoof keyboards, and even take control of connected devices. And the best part? You can install it on your phone, too. But how? It's all thanks to Kali NetHunter, a mobile penetration testing powerhouse designed for rooted Android devices. It supports external Wi-Fi adapters, allowing us to monitor networks just like on a full-fledged desktop setup. The HID mode transforms my phone into a disguised keyboard, enabling me to inject keystrokes instantly. And with the USB arsenal, I can manipulate any device I connect to, whether it's a PC, a router, or even another phone. With Kali NetHunter Kex, I can switch to full desktop mode, allowing me to multitask easily, running multiple apps, using a full terminal, and navigating a graphical interface. In this video, I'll guide you through the installation of Kali NetHunter, its setup, and its most powerful features. Whether you're an ethical hacker, a cybersecurity professional, or simply curious about mobile penetration testing, this is something you won't want to miss. Let's get started. Now, let's install it. In this example, I'm using a Poco F1, running the latest Android 15 with a custom ROM, and my bootloader is already unlocked. An unlocked bootloader is required to install this setup on your phone. First, reboot your phone into fast boot mode and connect it to your PC. On your PC, visit the official Kali Linux website and navigate to the NetHunter section under the Mobile tab. You'll find a list of supported devices there. However, a fair warning, this setup isn't available for every phone. The list of supported devices is quite limited. If your device is supported, download the appropriate package. For my phone, there are ROMs available for Android 11 and Android 14. I'm downloading the latest version. Kali NetHunter itself is a custom ROM, which you can install directly using TWRP or via Magisk. I'm installing it via Magisk because this method allows me to uninstall it later without affecting my main ROM. Since Kali NetHunter relies on Lineage OS, I'll be downloading Lineage OS as well. As you can see, I have downloaded all the required files needed for the installation. These include Magix, the Kali NetHunter ROM package, the Lineage OS ROM, and TWRP recovery. Now, let's install them one by one. But before we proceed, you need to install USB drivers and fastboot tools on your PC to ensure compatibility. You'll find the links in the description. Now, open the terminal and we'll begin the installation with TWRP Recover. All the necessary installation commands will be available in the video description. Once TWRP Recovery is installed, reboot your phone into recovery mode. In recovery mode, enable ADB Sideload to install the ROM. Note that the ROM installation process varies across different devices. For example, on my POCO F1, I need to uncheck Unmit System before installing the ROM. If you're using a different phone, make sure to check the official installation guide from your ROM provider. Once your device is in sideload mode, you can push the ROM from your PC using the ADB sideload command, followed by the ROM file path. Unfortunately, my USB cable is faulty, so sometimes it fails to connect, causing an error. This installation process may take some time. Once it's completed, format your device as shown. and enable 
ADB sideload again. This time we'll install magic using the same sideload command. Once Magix is installed, reboot your phone and complete the initial setup. You'll see a placeholder for the Magisk app. Open it and it will download the latest version from its server. Once the download is complete, open the app again. If it prompts for additional setup, reboot your device. After rebooting, Magisk will be successfully installed on your phone. Now transfer the Kali NetHunter file from your PC to your phone. This is the NetHunter file I just transferred. Open the Magix app, go to the Modules tab, click on the Install button, and select the NetHunter file. Magisk will now begin installing the file on your phone. This process may take a while. It appears the installation has failed due to an issue with wallpaper resolution. An amusing but minor problem. However, most of the setup has been completed. As you can see, all the NetHunter apps are installed on my phone. But we're not done yet. Open the NetHunter app and grant the required permissions. Now it's prompting that the Truth environment is not set up yet. To set up the Troot Manager, open the side menu and select Troot Manager. Click on the Install button. You have two options. Download the required files from the Kali server for automatic installation or install them manually from your local storage. We'll go with the second option. On your PC or phone, extract the Kali NetHunter ROM you downloaded earlier. Inside, you'll find the root fs file. You can identify it by its name, which ends with .xz extension. Transfer this file to your phone and install it using the local storage installation option. This installation process can take 30 to 40 minutes. Once installed, click the Start button to launch the Troot Manager. Now you have full access to Kali Linux and all its features. And that's how you install Kali Linux with root access on an Android phone. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.